Color me surprised, this might be my favorite movie of the year already. What is up everyone, my name is Zach and I'm bringing you guys a brand new review for a small indie film that just came out this weekend by my house, opening wide this weekend. It's called The Big Sick. Let's get into this. Big Sick, it's about Kumal Nojani, an actual actor. If you haven't watched Silicon Valley, he's from there. But it's about his true life love story with his actual wife, Emily. And I gotta say, this movie, it's based on a true story. It's a romantic comedy with some lots of drama elements in there. And uh, it's fucking awesome. Let me go back a little bit. It's not awesome, but it's really an emotional powerhouse of a film filled with lots of emotional beats. And it's also really funny. And I have to say, I fell in love with this film from beginning to end, every little bit about it. Characters, the drama, the story that's happening in this film is very touching and it just really grows on you and makes you think about your own life. At least it did for me. If you have followed my channel for a while, you would know that I'm a big indie fanatic. I love indie movies and this film really stole my heart in a lot of ways. <laughs> Kumal does a great job. He's playing his damn self. What can I say about that? But then you also have Zoe Kazan, wife of Kumal and their chemistry in this is so fantastic. This is probably one of my favorite romantic comedies of all time as well. Chemistry between the two characters are so believable and so touching to yourself. It makes you really think about any relationships you've had in the past as well. Of course, Holly Hunter and Ray Romano both pop in there as Emily's parents. And what are you going to say? Holly Hunter is fucking incredible in the film and so is Ray Romano. They're comedic beats in here are more the drama side but they're also very funny and Kumal's family in this film I have to say are some of the funniest parts in here because there obviously is a lot of cultural differences with Kumal and his family and you get the difficulties that go between him and Emily's relationship and how his parents want arranged marriage and obviously Kumal does not want that and seeing the family dynamics with all that is very funny especially with the mother the mother is so hilarious on her she brings a lot of comedic edge to her and don't get me wrong there are some really emotional beats with the family as well so they're not just the haha -ha comedy that's gonna get me out of the drama elements no they do have some dramatic elements in there that are very well done Honestly, I don't really have any cons to the big sick and I don't really want to talk any more about the big sick because I just want you guys to go understand watch this review go and see the big sick I don't want to spoil anything that's in the story or about anything don't even look up the trailer go check out the big sick if you're a fan of romantic comedies if you're a fan of comedies with a lot of drama in it and just true stories or even even if you like any of the actors in here you're really gonna have a great time at the theaters be warned though, you might be a little emotional in this film. It did hit me very hard in a lot of places, especially if you can relate to anything in this film, but it really touched me to a certain point, and that might be where I'm kind of biased on the film, but I think that's what movies are supposed to hear. We all have our own opinions. We get biased when something touches us in a certain way. I think that's why The Big Six probably going to end up being one of my favorite films of this year. I even tweeted after I saw the film that this might be one of my favorite films of all time, and I think with replayability, obviously that will play into a lot of the film, but I'm excited to go see this film and I spread the word with all my friends and co-workers and tell them, go see The Big Sick. Then I'm going to give The Big Sick an A+. So many great films out in theaters right now. Baby Driver, Spider-Man, Big Sick now coming out this week, and we also have War for the Planet of the Apes. So many great movies are coming out, and so many great movies have come out already, and I hope you guys go check this one out. I think it's very touching. It deserves your guys' appreciation. Like I said, didn't want to give too many details about this. This is a quick review, but I really do love The Big Sick, and later on down in the year, if it does make my top 10, which I'm sure it will, I will gush even more about The Big Sick. I really like this film. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you guys want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe. And also comment down below and let me know what is your excitement level for The Big Sick. Have you guys heard of this movie? Have you not? Or now are you excited about it? Go check it out. I promise you, you guys won't be disappointed. And of course, I also have a Q&A coming up. I'm planning on shooting it this weekend. So comment down below any questions you have for me as well. I love all you guys and all the support you guys give me. I love meeting, conversating with all you fucking people out there. I just love it. You guys all love movies. I love movies. Let's talk about it down in the comments. And of course, you guys have a great day.